Hey gamers and welcome to a new by design. I'm going to be continuing the walkthrough series here for Destiny with part 9 which covers Shrine of Arnix or Ornix, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, that's what this guide covers and that guy or that mission is the last mission on the moon. It's a level 8 mission and it is the last one that you'll be doing here on uh, the moon before you head off to Venus there. So the first thing you're going to do is just pick up your speeder even though it's not super necessary because there's not a huge distance that you have to travel to get to uh, the start of Hellmouth here. A lot of this, uh, a lot of this is going to be clearing mobs. It's going to be a lot of mobs and kind of positioning yourself a little better than maybe uh, maybe you might. Um, if you are able to get through all this uh, trash here, clearing all these mobs without any difficulty, you don't need a guide on that specific part. You can actually just go ahead and skip on to the end of this guide. I think the last three minutes covers it off. Or you can search my channel and I actually have a specific guide to Sardox Eye of Ornix. Uh, and that's just the, that's actually the end boss for this. And that guide will have everything you need to know on how to beat him. So like I say, if you're just struggling with the boss part itself, uh, head on over to that, gu that guide there and you'll get everything that you do need. Uh, that being said, I, I'd appreciate if you do stick on this uh, guide here itself and learn how to fill this entire mission and learn how to do it. A couple of the tips I have or recommendations I have for you uh, for this mission is to get yourself a decent sniper rifle. Uh, you will need, I shouldn't say you'll need, but if you have a sniper rifle, Sardox at the end will be an awful lot easier. Actually, you could probably beat Sardox in probably about 45 seconds to a minute if you do have a sniper rifle and lots of rounds on you at the time. Uh, so we're going to continue on going down into the Hellmouth here, and the Hellmouth is basically a long tunnel, and it just keeps going on and on forever here. It just it just goes and goes and goes, and there's just mob after mob after mob. So you can see again, it's one of those faction mob wars here. Uh, so you're going to have mobs attacking each other, which is kind of nice because if you leave them a little bit, they actually do damage each other, and uh, I mean, you'd be leaving them for a while if you're going to try to get them to kill each other, though. So you're going to have to do some work into it. Uh, so we're just going to keep on going here. Like I said, I do uh, recommend having a sniper rifle for this. Just so you could pick off the odd mob here and there from a quite a distance and without having to uh, get yourself in a risky position and getting up close, especially in the middle of these uh, faction wars that they have going on here. Uh, it's just easier if you can avoid the whole thing. So we're going to take over or take out this servitor here. Again, it's a level 8, and I happen to be a level 11, so this is going to be relatively easy. Hopefully you're around that area as well, because the first mission on Venus is actually a level 10 mission. So you want to be up a little bit, do a couple strikes or something like that to pick up your level, or maybe even some PvP, or get some uh, Vanguard um, missions, uh, pick them up, and you can get some bonus XP while you're leveling there. Uh, so we're just going to keep on going through here using our grenades and all that kind of stuff. I love these flash grenades because they blind everybody as you go. Although sometimes I will say that I do get myself. It actually seems like I get myself pretty far far too often for somebody who's played this game quite a bit now. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to keep on killing mobs and going down deeper and deeper and deeper into the Hellmouth here. This guide here is going to take us probably about 15 minutes, somewhere around there from start to finish, just because, like I said, there is there's a lot of mobs that you have to get through here, unfortunately. There's just uh, mob after mob, and like I said, we're going to kind of switch and alternate between the uh, sniper rifle and the assault rifle using cover and stuff like that as we go, just because it does make it a little bit easier. You can see I'm clearly no quick, uh, quick scoper as it takes me forever to align my aim here, and that's partially because I do use my assault rifle very often often and I don't want to switch my settings uh, for my to be basically set for a sniper when I use my assault rifle as much as I do and that's my primary primary tool that I do use so I don't want to have sniper rifle settings on an assault rifle because it just makes it a little bit too difficult to operate with uh, so yeah you're gonna keep on going through here picking off mobs here and there um, on a side note, it is the weekend and they've opened up uh, some PvP missions, which is pretty awesome. If you're a uh, decent level anyways, you want to get yourself in there, get some nice gear. Uh, we're just going to go through this wizard again. Wizards, I definitely recommend that you use either a sniper rifle, a uh, shotgun, or some form of heavy uh, weapon to take them out. Just because they are a pain in the butt, they move fast. If you get good enough with the sniper rifle, it's just a couple shots to the head and you can take them right out. One for the uh, shield that they put up and one for the actual damage and taking off the health. 
So again, we're going to keep on going down through here and running into another spawn, and it'll just kind of be a whole lot of that other spawning. Just random trash that we're going to have to clear through here, and apparently I'm going to get into a punch and match with some bullets coming my way, and that's not going to be, that's not going to be good for anybody, really. Um, so we're just going to keep on going through here uh, and try to uh, clear off this trash as fast as we can. Uh, meanwhile, keeping in mind that there's some mobs to the right of us, and we're kind of just standing in the open there. And of course, it happens to be one of the harder mobs. He's got a yellow, uh, yellow health, which indicates that he's uh, tougher than the rest of them. And we're just going to keep on going through here and taking some shots on the side here as well. So that's going to affect my aim when I'm taking sword slashes to the side of the head, of course. And we're going to keep on going through, clearing this mobs here. And hopefully you guys are, uh, just on a side note here while we're just clearing some trash, hopefully you guys are enjoying this game as much as me. I actually still have not got to level 20 yet because I've been doing so many of these videos that I didn't want to level ahead and get too far ahead of the levels as I'm leveling and doing the guides because then... If you're seeing a guide of a level 20 doing a level 8 mission, that's probably not going to help you guys out at all. Because you don't you don't want to see something that much easier than it actually is going to be because it's just unrealistic. And then you'll be thumping your head against the wall wondering why it's so much easier for somebody else to do a mission than it is for you. And then eventually you will realize that it's because that person doing this mission on the guide is level 20. And that's like I say, that's just not realistic. That's no fun for anybody. That said, I heard this game is just awesome at level 20, and I'm looking forward to getting to level 20. In fact, what I think I might do is record a lot of these missions back to back, leave them on my drive, and then do the commentary after I hit level 20 so I can get a little bit of that gameplay in. Uh, it, it just just because it'll be I think it'll be more more fun to have some of that little end game experience there. I'll still do all the bosses along the way and every night again maybe I'll do some catch up here and and catch up on a bunch of stuff which is actually what I'm doing now. I'm going to pop out a couple of these uh, missions here while I'm uh, got a couple recorded and we're going to go through them do the commentary and give some tips and stuff on the way and I think like I say I will continue with that. If you guys have any requests or anything about Destiny just let me know uh, especially if you have anything related to weapons i'm actually getting quite familiar with how each of the different weapons operates and what their best uses are and all that kind of stuff i'm also starting to kind of get the feel of the kinetic versus fire versus uh versus ice energy damage and all that kind of stuff as well if you guys would find a video on that useful let me know and i'll post one of those so again you can see we're just kind of clearing through all the mobs here again and we're pretty much we're getting fair relatively close to the boss to the boss fight here anyways you can see i just opened up uh an unlock for my body piece there and now i'm going to try to keep on picking up some uh weapons or some ammo anyways for my weapons and basically what's happening here now is i think i'm soon going to be getting rid of this 52 round gun because the uh, accuracy on it though i am getting used to it the accuracy is just tough when you have that many rounds firing that fast it's pretty difficult to get accurate or to be accurate for a long period of time with it um you just you're just wasting bullets i mean like i say you can carry a whole lot more bullets anyways so it's not the end of the world but you just go through them and they're just pretty inaccurate as well so what we're going to do here is we're going to clean the last well not really the last set of, of, of mobs but there's a lot that we've been clearing a lot of mobs and this is going to be one of the last areas that we have to clear and there is a fair amount of mobs here in this area and you could see standing out in the open there like I was doing like a little twit there is uh, not going to help you out too much. You definitely want to use cover especially as you start getting uh, well I definitely noticed as you start getting into Venus and then later on as you get into uh, Mars I'm sure you're going to get a bit of a situation going because mobs damage more as you get up and they get more intelligent AIs so they uh, they actually take cover better and they actually do all that kind of stuff I can definitely say that for a fact for Venus Venus the mobs do damage a lot more they are a lot smarter and you uh, definitely have to be careful where you're standing here is still just a little bit in this particular uh, mission yeah more than the rest but Still, you're able to kind of freely walk around and not worry too much with your uh, with, with how you are. And again, that could also be because I'm level 11 in a level 8 recommended area. And that guy does give me an advantage, obviously. So we're going to keep on clearing through the mobs for this last little area here. 
and then move on towards the uh, boss zone. Like I said, you've seen that there was the message that came up that showed us that we are limited respawn, which means that if we die from now, we get to start all over again. Uh, or at least I shouldn't say start all over again, but we get to basically start where that checkpoint is. And that being said, I have noticed, I have died at bosses before, and notice that if you do make it to the actual boss itself, even if it is a limited respawn area, you'll actually just restart at the boss itself, if it is a main boss, like one of the bigger bosses in the game, uh, rather than just one of the uh, yellow uh, yellow health bar people. Uh, so you don't have to worry too much if you do die at a boss, because then you'll just restart to where it is. All right, so we're just going to keep on going on here with Terrible Aim, picking off these last couple guys before we get to the actual boss zone itself, which is just up the corner here. Uh, again, the uh, knights are definitely easiest to take with a sniper rifle. You can see that there. It was just one well-placed shot right between the eyes, and it took him right out of the equation. So you can see right up here, we're coming up to another bunch of mobs, including a wizard, which are just my favorite. So I think I'll just go ahead and use the super on that one to end that quickly, uh, rather than spend 10 minutes trying to kill these mobs, just because I'm trying to make this walkthrough as fast as possible. And really, the uh, clearing trash part like this isn't isn't super important. It is important for you guys to see, so you guys can know what to expect when you guys are doing it, and what ammo or guns you want to bring to the fight. So we're just going to keep on going through here, and now we've just cleared up this room here, and now we're going to go through down this long, creepy tunnel. Uh, fortunately and unfortunately, we also have uh, maximum amount of heavy ammo, which seems to be the way that there's just a pile of heavy ammo on the ground when you don't need it, and when you need it, you can never find the damn stuff. It's just weird how that works, eh? Uh, so we're going to go in here into the Hall of Wisdom. This is where the boss is. So we are at the or nearing the boss portion of this fight. And what we're going to do is keep on kind of working our way in through here. A couple more bobs, or sorry, a couple more mobs to clear on the way. Uh, no shortage, like I say, of, of mobs in this uh, in this particular area. It's just it's just non-stop, lots of killing. Uh, none of them particularly difficult. I mean, occasionally you'll get the odd knight that seems to be better than the rest, or the odd wizard that seems to be better than the best, or better than the rest, not better than the best. That'd be silly. Um, so yeah, you just keep on going through here. We're just going to keep on picking them off. I'm going to try to kill them as fast as I can. That's why I have my... Uh, my heavy or my machine gun out using my heavy ammo that being said now that i have it out and actually using it i'll probably never be able to find some more to refill it anyways because that like i say just seems to be the way it works when you need heavy ammo it's just never there and when you don't need any of it it spawns and drops like crazy so we're just going to keep on going through here there's a lot of acolytes down here and we're going to slowly work our way through them here hopefully get a super rebuilt back up before we get towards the end and you can see we've got a, looks like an ogre there ahead of us that is shooting his uh, blast beams at us, which is annoying. So we're just going to have to take him out relatively quickly before he ends up doing us some damage. Uh, and I think we might just use the super for that just to get rid of him in a mad hurry there. Uh, so there he's gone. And like I say, I don't, I don't want to die to that stupid move. And it's, it's irritating. I had the super built up, so we may as well use it, right? So we're going to keep on clearing these acolytes, and we are very nearing the uh, boss. Although I keep I keep on saying that, but like I say, all these mobs keep on spawning up, and I like to try to kill them all at least in in the fights themselves. If I'm if it's outside, I won't generally kill all the mobs, and I'll head right to the battle itself. But when we're actually doing a portion that's in a mission, I like to try to kill all the mobs themselves there. So now we've got some thrall chasing us down, and I always do the backward step when I'm fighting these thralls uh, as I'm shooting them, just because they can do some pretty decent damage pretty quickly, unfortunately. Um, so it, it definitely is best when you're fighting those thralls, if you can do the back step, make sure you're not nearing an edge of a area where you're going to fall down, because that could be relatively irritating. So you can see here, this is the boss area here right now. So that big, huge globe, that's where you uh, activate it, and it turns into uh, jump out. The boss, Sardux, comes out to defend it. But in the meantime, we have to kill and clear all of these acolytes that are worshipping and praying. I don't know if they're worshipping and praying at the monument there, or if they're worshipping and praying at Sardux to try to get him to come in here and beat her ass up. So we're just going to keep on killing all these last couple, 
last couple uh, trash mobs here and once we do then we're going to be uh, all set here so we're all set here now we're going to activate the uh, shrine or we're going to weaken the shrine I guess is what we're technically doing and what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to cut in one of the fights I did after of Sardox with a lot better method to killing him than I did in this particular one so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut in the section from the guide that I did of how to kill Sardox easily because just that it is the uh, next method that I that I ended up using beating him is so much more efficient and easy to do and a lot faster so here we go we're cut into the uh, guide portion of it on how to kill him and you'll see that this is really super super easy especially if you do have a sniper rifle so the first thing we're gonna do again backwards stepping to kill these thralls just because it's easier that way you can see I butted up against an end there and I wasn't able to back up any further um, but we're gonna keep on going we're gonna keep on killing these acolytes Keep in mind, and you'll see why in a minute, that he does continually spawn items or mobs as you do fight him. But the trick to this is, is use your sniper rifle and hit him right in that eye there. So you can see when you shoot him with the sniper rifle right in that eye, it stuns him. And again, like I said, don't forget about these about these ads here. Got to make sure you keep on killing them. And again, now I have a full clip, so we're just going to pop into him in that face with the clip there. But now we're going to get back to the sniper rifle. That brightest portion of his eye, you shoot it, and it stuns him. It does a huge amount of damage. Reset, do it again. Stuns him again. Reset, do it again. Stuns him again. Reset, do it again. Stuns him again. And then just one more, and then boom, he's dead. And let me tell you, that method right there is a lot easier than the first time I did it. And the biggest reason for that is is because when you do kill him it kills all the ads and everything like that whereas the other way I did it it just spawned just a ton of ads on me so this way is a lot better last part of this mission is to just kill this or blow up this spinning globe or whatever it is here and then you are done that is all there is to this mission if you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful at all, please click the like button. It helps me an awful lot when you do. Also, if you guys have a moment, if you can click that bright yellow subscribe button in the center here, that'll notify you every time I publish another video. Thanks for watching.